With Adobe Fuse CC and Photoshop CC, you can work with realistic 3D models to create amazing photo composites. In order to bring a 3D model directly into Photoshop, you'll first need to open Fuse and create your very own character to save to your Creative Cloud libraries. Here is a completed model. Now, select Save to CC Libraries and choose a character name and a library where you want to save your model. Fuse packages and exports the character to make it available in your Creative Cloud libraries. Now, open Photoshop. In the CC Libraries panel, choose the library that your model is saved to. Double-click the character to open her in a new 3D document. You can increase the image size of your document to get a larger, clearer view of your 3D character. Next, switch to the 3D workspace by choosing it from the Workspaces menu in the upper right. If you're not familiar with the 3D workspace, you'll mainly be working with three panels, the Layers panel, the 3D panel, and the Properties panel. First, let's explore some of Photoshop's 3D painting capabilities by giving this character some creative face and body paint. Make sure that your character is selected in the Layers panel. Then, zoom in on the character's face and use the paintbrush and selection tools to add some creative flair directly to the surface of the model. You can get really creative with this technique. Now, let's apply custom textures to the model's clothing. In the Layers panel, click to expand the texture layers that make up the 3D model. Find and double-click the top diffuse layer. A new file opens that shows the clothing mesh and the current texture applied. Use Adobe Stock or your own personal photos to place new designs directly on top of the mesh. Then click Save. When you close the file, notice the new textures are applied to the model's clothing. Once again, there's no limit to how creative you can get with these techniques. Now let's place the character in a realistic 3D space. I'll place a photo of a simple scene into the composition's background. Next, you'll need to orient your 3D model naturally into the background. Select your character in the Layers panel and then open the 3D panel. Select the Skeleton component and use the 3D transformation tools to rotate, scale, and adjust your model to match the environment. When you're satisfied with the character's positioning, adjust the lighting of the scene to match. Select the light icon on the canvas border to activate the light and rotate it to the perfect position. Now that the character fits the scene, you can find a dynamic pose to add some action to the image. In the 3D panel, select the skeleton component. Now, in the Properties panel, select the Body icon. Here you can browse through thousands of poses and animations for your model. You can also search through the collection to find the one that you like. Click to apply the animation or pose to your model. Next, you'll want to scrub through the animation to find a pose that you like for your image. Open the Timeline panel by choosing Window, Timeline. Then, in the Timeline panel, use the scrubber to find the perfect pose. You can close the Timeline panel by clicking the Flyout menu and choosing Close. Finally, select the Face icon in the Properties panel to browse through a number of facial expressions to give some personality to your character. When you've found an expression you like, scroll down to adjust the strength of the expression and the angle and position of the head and eyes. Where you go from here is only limited by your imagination. Use any and all of Photoshop's rich and powerful editing capabilities to add the finishing touches to your design. There's no limit to what you can create, and the best part is that you can keep making changes to your composition. Whether you want to repaint the model, readjust the lighting, or choose a new pose or animation to fit your model into a new scene, it's all possible with your fully posable 3D model. Be sure to download the latest versions of Fuse CC and Photoshop CC to explore the exciting possibilities.